Good morning, everyone. So today I'll be trying out um, some new items from Spellbinders. I did send these items free of charge for my review, and of course, all opinions are my own. And any links in the description box will be affiliate links, which means I'll make a small commission if you were to purchase items to those links. So thank you for using them if you would like. Um, so the other day we made a card with the um, open house, the base door or the door base, and it comes with like these cute little pieces. You can you know dress up your door and beautiful like stained glass like over the doorway if you would like or just like this nice little um, decorative piece here and then you have the mat here in the front um, and then I showed you guys a couple other pieces and then we talked about um, in August um, towards the end of August in a few days here they're gonna launch the new pieces that can coordinate along with the door also which are like Halloween related and fall and harvest and we're just really cute and so I got a lot of questions about the doorway um, and those pieces so we'll talk about those in just a minute but um, I still have uh, the um, sentiment steps here that we can um, check out I'm not going to check them out today. I think I'm going to do this in a separate video. Today I'm going to use the uh, topiary. Really sweet. It has the little decorative topiary part and then this background piece that you can put behind that. Or you can just do it by itself if you just want like a little like shaped bush kind of looking topiary. And then it has flowers, centers, or berries, however you want to use them. The little um, stick or let's put this right here. Um, I got it right there there we go and then uh, we have the uh, the pot and then the pot has some accents too so um, oh there is an example actually on spellbinders where they took these pieces and the decorative pieces and they put this on the top and they made it look like it's hanging down like a cute like decorative um, element and then they put the little um, bow from the base set so just another way to use it it looks really really cute that way uh, let's put this over here. This little trunk, so small. Um, but the questions I was getting was if this is the same door as open house, not open house, this is called open house, as um, the October 2020 large die of the month. And funny enough, I have all my boxes, all my kits in boxes like this. And if I had made a card or something and um, I'm still holding on to it, I keep them <laughs> all together. Uh, and this is everything from October 2020, the card kit, um, the APG and all those kind of things. So this is my uh, large die. So, and I said, yeah, I think the accessories will work. Um, I'm not sure about the other pieces, but yeah, no, they'll definitely work. So if you guys recall, what happens with this large die is that you have the door, you have the whole frame and everything, but this does not cut out um, completely. I believe it hinges, right? Yeah. So it has a cutting edge on all three sides, but not this last side. But hopefully you can see that they are exactly the same size. So what's really nice is that if you wanted to build out the whole doorway, like in the October 2020 large die, you can do that and you can pop this new door in this area. And as you can see, they have different um, decoration. They have different panels. So the doors are different, which is really cool. What I would do with this one is if you want it to be like this one, just go ahead and cut it out on your piece of paper. It's going to stay hinged and then just cut it off with your guillotine or your paper trimmer. And now you just have a, a door that's on its own. Um, so exactly the same size. They work really well together. And so that just gives you more um, options, right? And then I know some of you guys wanted to pick up maybe the accessories for open house to go with <laughs> this large die and they will definitely work. So really cool. So let me put this aside. And they are a little bit uh, different, of course, the doors. Okay showed you there. So what I think I'm going to do today, actually since I have this one made up and I didn't um, you know, go overboard in the decoration. How cute we were talking about if you put like a picture of someone in back behind here or however. Um, or oh, <laughs> a little dancing gnome or little gnomes. Uh, that would be really cute. But anyway, anything. Any die cut uh, picture whatever you want to put behind there. So that, that was a really fun one. Um, so what I think today I'll do is I'll make some topiaries and put them on the side. We'll see how it looks. It's going to be uh, really dressed up. Okay, so, and I know people ask where I get these, um, Daiso, <laughs> Daiso Japan, so hopefully you have a Daiso near you. They might be on their website, but it's hard to, well, for me, it's hard to understand what their website has, because sometimes the sizings are, um, interesting, like, I'm not sure exactly what they're describing. So, anyhow, uh, so we have these pieces, and what I'm going to do is get my cardstock out and 
I'm not sure if I was either flowers yet or not today, but I'll bring those out too. So that's all the pieces there for the topiary. I'm going to grab some papers and I'll be right back. So for now, what I'm going to do is cut out two of this dark, or um, two of this on dark green paper. And then two of this on a lighter kind of green. Just run those through your die cutting machine. We need one of our little trunk. Oh, sorry, two. We're making two topiaries, so two of the trunk. I'm not going to do these quite yet. And then I thought, well, we can have some fun with this. So with the pot, I, w I would like to make a terracotta color. I thought that would be cute. But I'm going to go and use this festive-looking um, pot. And just, why not? So two of these, and I'm going to try to, you know, cut them, like, at the same space. Or right over here. And then the little accent pieces, I'm going to use the band for just red. And then this darker piece that kind of goes on the top to make it look like it has some depth is going to be cut out in like a burgundy, a little deeper color. So two of these in red and two of them in burgundy. And I'll be right back. Okay, so let's start putting this together. Do you want to show you how um, this looks like a cute little like um, sculptured hedge? Well, it's a circle, but <laughs> however, very cute. So I'm just going to start, I think, by putting this on there. I'm going to stick to the center part because it looks like, I'm not sure if it covers the whole thing. Okay, yeah, so that goes right into the center. I'm just placing that there. And while that's on there, I'll put one of these guys. And I'm going to leave that alone for a second. I'll do the same thing for the second one. And for my little pot, I'm just going to put some glue around this here. Bring over one of these red pieces. They look symmetrical. I don't know if there's a top or a bottom. They look basically the same. They're kind of bowed, rounded. And then this little red piece, the one that I cut in burgundy. You don't have to put that accent piece if you don't want. Um, I cut that out. And... Trying to see if that one has a space or not. I guess specific way to put it. Let me see if it goes that way. So it's a little bit rounder on one side and a little flatter on the other side. What I did was put the flatter side up, and I think that's a good way to put it because it makes it look nice and round up here in the front. Okay, I'm gonna do the same for the other uh, set. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, we have all our pieces here. I'm just going to eyeball what we want to do. So since I've built this up with foam, what I'm going to do is just put these on here too, but I'm going to use some of my 3D glue gel just because it's easy to do the correct amount. But if you're using foam adhesive, I would just double the amount of foam that you used the first time. You know, so when you place it, um, it has that height. And what's good about this glue gel is that I can mess around with it. I don't have to stay committed. <laughs> it doesn't dry for a while. So like if this, if I change my mind, I can do that. And then I'm just going to put these little guys here. And honestly, I can just glue those. So I'm just going to put a little glue down here. Because I'm just going to glue it to the side of the door frame. That's so cute. Okay, and this one too. Just just a simple little thing to put together. Super cute. Again, we have all the little flowers if you want to do that. I was just going for like a little bush. It does have little flowered um, details. So if you want to pop little flowers in from those guys, you can definitely do that. I'm going to straighten this out a little bit more. <laughs> Every little bit just adds so much. So cute. Um, and then, uh, you know, we have the bow from the first set. If you want to add a little bow to the topiary on your door. What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this bow out in red and then just pop it together just like I did in the open house base door um, tutorial. And just pop it right here just to add a little pop of red in here. 
And that's it, guys. So thanks for watching. I hope that answered some of your questions. Um, I'll have the links in the description box and some pictures for you. So thank you so much, Spellbinders, for sending these items for review. And I'll see you guys at the next one. Bye now.